Step 4. Entangled link with trapped ions. This experiment used trapped ions in optical cavities in order to establish an entangled link between node A and node B. This experiment was performed by Kurtiansky and his collaborators very recently, in 2023, at the University of Innsbruck in Austria. The ions that they used were two calcium-40 ions, and they placed them in optical cavities, located at node A over here on the uh, campus of Innsbruck University, and node B over here. The separation between the nodes was 230 meters, but the length of the fiber that was used to carry the photons between the nodes was 520 meters. Here's a schematic view of the experiment. We've got two computational end nodes, ion A and ion B, that are both made to emit photons. This created a stationary qubit to flying qubit entanglement. And then the flying qubits uh, were directed towards the PSA between the nodes, where they were made to interfere. Node A only had the computational end node, while node B had both access to the computational end node as well as the PSA. You, I hope you recognize this as the memory-memory link architecture which we discussed in this module. The ion photon entangled state after the emission, so this is the state after A is made to emit a photon and also after B is made to emit a photon, is given by the following superposition. It's a superposition between the ion being in a state D and the photon being vertically polarized or the uh, ion being in a state D prime and the photon being horizontally polarized. Here is a simple energy level structure for the ion. First, the ion is made to excite into this excited level from where it has a chance to de-excite into either the level D or D prime. When it de-excites into the level D, then it emits a photon that's vertically polarized. On the other hand, if it de-excites into the level D prime, it emits a photon which is horizontally polarized. On top of that, the experimentalists were able to uh, control this relative phase between the two states, given by angles theta A or theta B. After successful bare measurement at the PSA node, the state of the memories, or state of the ions, was projected onto the following state. It's either a plus, psi plus state or a psi minus state, again depending on the outcome at the BSA. And this relative phase uh, in here, given by phi, is just the difference of the relative phases controlled locally, theta A and theta B. Uh, what the experimentalists had to, um, had to ensure was the indistinguishability of photons arriving at the BSA. One thing they had to keep in mind was in uh, order to achieve indistinguishability, they had to check the spectrum of the emitted photons. This is known as spectral indistinguishability of photons. In order to do that, the cavities had to be recalibrated every 20 minutes. The next thing that affects the success rate and the uh, fidelity of the final state is a time window set at the BSA. Remember, we require the photons to arrive at the BSA at the same time. This in real life is impossible. The photons cannot arrive exactly at the same time. On the other hand, they can arrive very close to each other. So we have to define what is going to be considered as a coincidence count and what is not. This is given by the length of this window. If the photons arrive very close to each other, we can set the window to be small. On the other hand, if we want to capture more coincidences, we can just extend the length of this window. So long window increases our success probability because the photons don't need to arrive that close to each other, yet we still count it as a coincidence but it has the bad effect of lowering the fidelity of the final state produced between the two ions. And on similarly, shorter window lowers our probability of success, but ensures that the ions are entangled with much higher fidelity. Here are some numbers about the experiment. The ion-ion entangled state was characterized by state tomography, which was then used to calculate the fidelity of the state. For a window set to be 17.5 microseconds, the experimentalists performed 13.6 million attempts, given 4,470 coincidence counts at the BSA. This is a probability of success of only 0.033%, and the generation rate of entangled a link between the ions was about half a hertz. 
The fidelity of the projected states of the ions is given by the following expressions. If the projected state was a psi plus state, then the fidelity was 0.587. On the other hand, if it was the psi minus state, then the fidelity was similar but slightly lower, 0.58. When the window at the BSA was decreased just a mere microsecond, again, the same number of counts resulted in a much lower coincidence count of 555. This lowered the generation rate of entanglement at the link level to 3.5 pairs per minute. On the other hand, the fidelities increased substantially. The F plus fidelity jumped to 0.88, while the F minus fidelity jumped to 0.833. This concludes our discussion of uh, using trapped ions in cavities in order to establish uh, link-level entanglement.